So, for the tape, you're confessing to planning the murder of Miss Jessica Swan on the 8th of April 2023. Correct. And you can confirm that Miss Annabelle Rivers acted as your accomplice and wholeheartedly supported this decision. Yeah, that's correct. Hannah Harker, I'm arresting you on suspicion of conspiring to murder Miss Jessica Swan. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? What do you think? What do I think? I think we've got another dead body in our hands. Yeah. But who this time? I don't know, Jack. Look, Adam, I know you're not happy working with me. But come on. We gotta make this work. I know you miss Daniela. Daniela didn't nag like you did and she actually turns up on time. Do you think this could have been your brother? Nah, this won't be him. Mr. Jesmond, Mr. Brooks, glad you managed to get here so quick. Hello, Harriet. What have we got? A body, but no marks, no bruises, no blood. Have you identified the body yet? Jesus fuck! Oh my god. It's Jessica Swan. Shit! Adam, we've got. Yes! To... I know, Jack. Adam, where are you going? Jessica Swan is dead, Jack. And we've got a fucking murderer on the loose. I'm gonna go back to town, get some signal, send the guys out on patrol, see if we can find her on the area. Just stay here, don't do anything weird, I'll be back in an hour. Right! Who do you think did it then, Mr. Brooks? No idea, Harriet. And it's Jack, please. Gang attack? What well, gangs are left? The Jesmonds? It wasn't the Jesmonds, was it, Harriet? We'd know if it was them. True. O'Dwyers? Again, we'd know if it was them. It wasn't the O'Dwyers. Jessica Swan had to be kept alive. The O'Dwyers knew that. It was them that wanted it. Who then? I don't know, Harriet. Please, stop asking me questions. Sorry, Jack. What now, then? Well, I might as well have a look around while we wait for the hidden task force. But you're not a detective. You know that for sure, do you? Besides, police are never going to turn up. So what's the harm? There's bark missing from this tree. Do you reckon maybe she was tripped and had to grab on? Or she was hurt? Scuff marks. As if she was being pulled or she, had, she skidded, being dragged. Blood. On this tree. But she wasn't bleeding. Doesn't mean she didn't lash out whoever was attacking her. Another scuff mark. Do you reckon there was maybe more than one attacker, perhaps? It's certainly possible. Perhaps there was a group of them that chased her down. What do you explain why it's in such a Shut up. Come here. 
would appear we're not alone. So, Hannah, can you tell us exactly what happened? Where you were, who you saw, what you did, from start to finish for us? Come on, Hannah, we need you to... I turned up on foot with my partner. We got word that Jessica was heading out that way, so we went looking. By the time we got there, she was barely breathing. And there were others there, both guys. They were dragging her across the floor when we reached them. But when we got there, they dropped her and turned to us. It was weird, one of them had a big stick in his hand, almost like a wand. And the other, well, was completely empty handed. We fought over Jessica, but we lost. And the other two finished her off. Do you identify the two men? Identify them? If you let me out, I can show you where they live. Name them. The names are Jason Flynn and Jack Temple. And your accomplice? Annabelle Rivers. Can you tell us where you were today at 10 a.m.? No comment. Jack Temple, you have been identified as being present at the scene of a murder on Final Common, early today at 10 a.m. Who the fuck told you that? We were asking the questions, you're answering them. Where were you at 10 a.m., Jack? No comment. Do you know Miss Jessica Swan? No comment. Do you know Mr. Jason Flynn? No comment. How about Hannah Harker? She's the one who dobbed me in. Just me? answer the fucking questions. Where were you at 10 a.m., Jack? I was with Jason. Where? No comment. For fuck's sake, the woman's dying! Yeah, not a nice one! So, you knew her? No. Well, this tells us otherwise. You were intending on claiming the bounty on her head, weren't you? Who says I was? Jason, and Hannah, and Annabelle who all, funnily enough, confirmed your presence at the crime scene and who all admit that you took part in the murder of Jessica Swan. Fuck. So are you going to tell us how it happened? No. Cry out loud, Jack! You've been identified at the scene of a murder. We've got enough evidence to charge you with premeditated murder and give you the death sentence. You might as well at least tell us what you know. You never know might even save your life. Fine. Jason and I knew where to find Swan. So we trekked out and hunted her down. She saw us and made a run for it. We managed to catch up to her, but she put up a bit of a fight and Jason got her to the floor. That's when the others showed up. Can you tell us where you were this morning at 10 a.m.? You're going to ask if I murdered Jessica Swan, aren't you? Well, did you? Depends. On what? What you classify as murder. Can you confirm for the tape your name, please? Annabelle Rivers. And Annabelle, where were you this morning at about 10am? I think you already know this, but I was with Hannah Harker. Where? Somewhere in the New Forest. I don't know where exactly. Were you trying to capitalise on the bounty set on the head of Miss Jessica Swan? I'm not too sure on her name, but yes, yes I was. And you and your partner failed to succeed in your intentions, correct? Correct. So why didn't you run? No use, you would have found us anyway. Things have been said in the other interviews. Things that have led me, led us to believe that you may be in possession of some powers. Sure, if you want to phrase it like that. Could you expand on what you call your powers? I read things and they come to life, it's really simple. 
How do you mean exactly? Um, give me a book and I'll show you. And sure enough, there on the table in the middle of the room was an apple, twinkling under the bright light above it. It was a poison apple. Tell us what happened out there. Simmons, for God's sake, I've been out here for hours. Honestly, there isn't a single soul out here. If Oliver doesn't show up in the next hour, I'm out of here. The longer I'm out here, the more likely I am to think I'm on Jess's name. I've got to go, there's someone out here and it isn't Oliver. Jessica! <laughs> Your boys better back off. Their bounty's ours, not yours. Oh, fuck off, Hannah. Her face was ghastly, with a pallor which was excessive. What the fuck is she doing? Blood which smeared her lips and She's making her bleed, look! Now get out of here, or I'll get Annabelle here to find a page that suits you best. And she'll see you suffer a fate worse than Jessica's. Just get out of our way. No! Fine. Jack. And well, me and Jack, we have certain skills. So when we couldn't get to Jessica, we took matters into our own hands. Can you explain these skills, Jason? I could. Or I could demonstrate for you. Can we have the lights back on, please? I can harness any power source, any electrical energy from any power source. Batteries, wires, and I can transmit it through objects, even people. So, so you used this power to kill Jessica Swan? No. Jack did. You see, you found that She's not the only one with powers. Jack here, he's kind of like a human punching bag. He doesn't feel pain, instead he transmits it to others. Kind of like a living voodoo doll. And me? Well... I'm basically a fucking wizard. But we didn't give her the message. Yes, I know, Annabelle, I know. But the contract said we needed to give her the message before we killed her. Yes, I know, Annabelle. Could you give me a second, please? All right, get back. As we've come to understand it, Anna, you're capable of performing Certain. Magic. Could you explain clearly for the tape what you consider to be your abilities? I can communicate with and conjure the dead, but only for a short while, any more than a few minutes, and it becomes dangerous. I can't control it. And Hannah, what were you doing there? What, why did you go looking for Jessica Swan? She had a bounty on her head, a big one of that. Who set that bounty? I don't know. <coughs> You, I was dead, that was horrible. Yeah, yeah, I know. What have you done? I've brought you back. Now shut up and listen, we don't have much time. No, go on, you read it. Jessica, after all you've done, after everything you've put us through, it's now time for you to pay for your sins and face the Reaper. Mark my words, you will be forgotten, you will be deleted. Every 
single trace of you on this earth will vanish. You've taken your last step on this earth. The only place you will ever exist now is in the minds of those you tortured and tormented. Regards, Oliver Jesmond. So, for the tape, you're confessing to planning the murder of Miss Jessica Swan on the 8th of April 2023. Correct. And you can confirm that Miss Annabelle Rivers acted as your accomplice and wholeheartedly supported this decision. Yeah, that's correct. Hannah Harker, Jack Temple, Jason Flynn, Annabelle Rivers. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murdering Miss Jessica Swan. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Well, now that's said and done, there's someone outside that'd like to have a word with you. Wait a minute, don't I get a say in this? No, sit down, shut up. I'm Chief Operations Officer of the British Hidden Task Force. Our job is to ensure the safety of British citizens. We engage with individuals who pose a supernatural threat. Today was a prime example. Four rogue, unidentified superhumans who assaulted and murdered a high-ranking official. As of now, the government has no procedure to deal with these sort of individuals, so the task has fallen to me. Where is this going? As a response to these regular attacks, I have been asked to assemble an elite task force whose job would be to use their own superhuman abilities to fight the hostile ones. Myself and my colleagues have deemed you sane and as reasonable candidate to use. We're calling it the Royal Elite Veil vale Squadron, codename Revengers. You would be part of the first undercover squad to work in the name of His Majesty the King. Do I get a choice in this matter? Yes. Is this will be charged with the attempted assassination of Jessica Swan, which may include a death sentence. So, fight or die? Fight or die. Everything you need to know is in this document. My colleague and I will leave you now to look over it and make a decision. everything I ask you. Because you told me to. Who... Who am I? 
Jessica Swan. Am I dead? Yes. Give me your car keys. I want you to forget everything. Who you are, who I am, where we are, everything. The only things I want you to remember are how to breathe, how to walk, and how to talk. Clear?